Hello and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Sherry and today is Super Simple Saturday. And because it's October, I have a recipe that's not just simple, but it is fun and easy. Something you can do with the kids. Something I'm hoping you can do with the kids. I haven't made these before. <laughs> it's another thing I saw on Pinterest, but I thought it looked really easy. But then I'm like, is it actually going to work? We're going to make some spider webs with chocolate and pretzels today. But before I get started, if this is your first time here, you love food and fun and you love Halloween. I love Halloween. <laughs> Go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell and check the description below. You can find details on how subscribing helps to feed the hungry. Okay, so I thought this was a super cute idea. Basically, you just take pretzels. So I've got eight of them here and you just arrange them kind of like, oh, would we call this a star shape? Like so. And then we're just going to pour chocolate in a circle. So it, oh, I, did, I don't think we do it in a circle. You know how you're supposed to kind of like make the points? I don't know. I think it's easier if you just do a circle because it's kind of tricky getting the chocolate in here. So luckily, let me just show you real quick. I've got my little chocolate melter. Of course, you can do this in the microwave. You can do it on the stovetop. But I actually have a, this is our chocolate drizzler. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping this is going to help me. <laughs> you guys can see I tried one right here. It didn't turn out so good. But a spider web actually kind of goes... You know what I'm talking about? Like in points, right? Let's see. Let's start here. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. I think we're just going to have to do a circle. And I think we're going to have to go around a couple of times. So I was really intrigued by these because I thought they look so easy, but is the chocolate actually going to be enough to hold these together? I don't know. We'll see, right? But, so I used... This looks kind of messy. <laughs> And then the other thing, I was looking everywhere in a couple of different stores for gummy spiders. I could have swore they made spiders, but all I could find is worms. So I have plastic spiders today that I'm going to, you know, when I photograph or if I was going to set these out to serve them, you know, I would probably have taken the time to make some gummies or like at least like some jello ones. I probably would have did that. I've got like some spider molds downstairs I could have did. Yeah. I'm curious to see if this is actually going to be enough to hold these together. So this was... Eight pretzels. Well, that does not going to look like a spider web. <laughs> it looks like a mess. Anyway, to make the smaller ones, you just break the pretzels in half and, and do the same thing. So I'm afraid if I don't put quite a bit on here, though, it's not going to hold these all together. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I'd still eat it anyway. I would just... I just take this. If it doesn't work out, I'm going to take this whole thing. I'm just going to bunch it together and crunch it up and stick it in a bowl and eat it. <laughs> and you could do this with dark chocolate too, but then it probably wouldn't look like a, it wouldn't look like a spider web. I think the smaller ones are more likely to hold together. Well, that one doesn't look too bad. And another thing I have found is sometimes when you melt chocolate, it's just a little, you know, it's, it's, I don't want to say it's clumpy, but it's too thick. It, does, it doesn't want to, you know, drip off the spoon. And, you know, it, sometimes that depends on the brand or how you melt it. But what I like to do is I'll take a little bit of coconut oil and I'll put it in there. Anything, you know, like some butter or coconut oil. Something that's going to solidify whenever, whenever it cools down. All right, I'm gonna finish the rest of these. This is taking a little longer than I thought it was going to. Super simple Saturday. <laughs> All right, now for the test. <laughs> I think I forgot to mention, these are on parchment paper so that they don't stick, but I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this over to the freezer so these can chill out for a bit and hopefully, hopefully when I pull them back out, they will stay together and look somewhat like a spider web. <laughs> All right, our spider webs are done. And I'm pleasantly surprised. They held up. I think all of them held together. Even the big one, I think. I'm sure it's pretty delicate, though. <laughs> this one maybe looks more like a spider web. I don't know. I don't feel like they really look like spider webs, though. I feel like it looks like a captain's wheel <laughs> on a ship. That's what I think it looks like. So maybe if we put some spiders in here. I don't know. I feel like if I put the spider right in the middle, then it kind of looks more like a spider web. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to photograph it and see how it turns out. You guys will have to make these and you'll have to let me know how it turns out for you. So I thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.